In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build the new concrete maker the Mumbo Jumbo recently created on Hermitcraft Season 7 for his industrial district. These are all the materials you're going to need for the concrete maker. You don't actually need these to be concrete, they can just be two blocks, but you're going to need them for the first time that you make the farm. I'll show you when we actually start building. To run this farm, you're going to come over here and flip that lever and it'll start the TNT duping, it'll wait it for a second for it to prime and then it'll drop it and you can come over here and just hold down right click and it goes as fast as it can hold down right click so it never will back up I've tested this for a while and it does not back up you're good to just sit here holding down right click and eventually it'll start to go all the way to this fourth smart piston it looks like it's only on the third smart piston at the moment also just as a warning if you turn it off while it's in the middle of a cycle then it can sometimes drop the TNT down without letting it prime and then it can blow up and cause problems but if you turn it off not in the middle of a cycle then it's fine also if you like what you see here then consider hitting that subscribe button we're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of November and we're on track for that but I need your help so that'd be very much appreciated thank you this machine does need to be built in the air but it doesn't have to be built in the exact height so somewhere around 15 blocks would be fine you could go higher probably a little bit lower and be just fine so there's not an exact height that needs to be built at so kind of just whatever works best for you as long as it's in the air you're going to start with two blocks like that then you're going to go up and have a slab and then you're going to put some dust on those blocks and then you're going to get a redstone torch there and you're going to go up with a block right here then you're going to get a normal piston and you're going to also get a sticky piston and there's a normal piston right here that's going to face straight up and then the sticky piston that faces straight down there then you're going to place redstone up there and now we have a smart piston like that now you're going to take a slab down here place it like that then two out and then two in that direction so you technically have six slabs seven counting that one and then right here you're going to get a piece of glass on the side of that redstone and you're going to go back like this sort of make a, a shape like that you're going to come down and that you're going to have slabs right here and then you just take your two blocks it doesn't actually like matter what two blocks they are in this case we're just using the concrete and stuff so you would take a water bucket one of your water buckets place it on the glass just don't waterlog the slab like i did so make sure you place it on the glass otherwise that will happen now you're going to add three more slabs onto the end of this like that now you're going to go out diagonally and make a square of four slabs you're going to go up with a slab like that you're going to place a redstone on all of that and then you're gonna go let's see up again with slabs another four slabs that's down here like this then you're gonna take two target blocks so like that you're gonna have two sticky pistons facing up and two normal pistons facing downward and then we're gonna build the same exact thing but only a block to the side with a uh, block a gap like this so just repeat the same process now actually in that last clip I had the sticky and normal pistons reversed they're supposed to be sticky pistons on the bottom not the top I got that mixed up on the first one but then I actually built it right on the one that I didn't fully show. So you're going to want to put the normal pistons on the top and the sticky ones on the bottom like you will see in the next clip. So sorry for the confusion. Now you're going to go two blocks out here and leave a block of gap in the middle there. And you're going to take comparators. You're going to place four of them facing in that direction. Then you're going to get four furnaces. You're going to have a furnace off of each one of these comparators. Now you're going to take your junk blocks and you're going to want to place in 42 in every single one of these furnaces. Specifically 42. It has to be 42. It doesn't really matter what they are. They just have to be 42 items in each one of these furnaces. And now these are all done. So you can demonstrate like this. This will start working and when the first one runs out of a uh, push ability then it'll start going to the next one eventually it'll get all the way over here but it never actually backs up because of the uh the tnt duper and the timing with that now you're going to take three obsidian starting right here you're going to place it in a line like that and you're going to come down here with three stone bricks and then you're going to get a stone brick here and you're going to take three sticky pistons you're going to place them down here in a line then three stone bricks here and some redstone across that three more stone bricks stone brick there and then we're gonna have two repeaters like that set that to two ticks and set this one all the way to four ticks now you're gonna place another stone brick up there you're gonna have also a stone brick here a piece of glass here and a stone brick up there and you're gonna get redstone like that and you're gonna get a repeater there set to four ticks and put a uh, stone brick up there and then you're gonna get another repeater and just leave it on one tick and stick it right there now you're going to go up like this and put two blocks then you're going to make this four blocks long so there's going to be a total of eight then you're going to go up for two bricks like that and then you're going to have redstone dust up here you're going to get a, a block there 
you're going to put a lever on the block and a torch on the side and then three repeaters like this these three repeaters here are going to be set to four ticks the rest you're just going to leave them as they are and then you're going to come down right here with the block and you're going to place in redstone right there now this actual timing circuit is connected but we're going to turn it off by flicking that lever so that we can build the uh the tnt duper you're going to start by placing a sticky piston up there and you're going to take uh let's see three slime blocks like that and you're going to get a fence and three more slime blocks and then we're going to need a detector rail detector rail is going to go there we're going to get tnt down there and we're going to get a dead a missing one of the dead coral fans it doesn't have to be a specific one just a dead coral fan then we're going to place the minecart up there so you're going to come two blocks out from this area here where the blocks go and you're going to go all the way down to the ground like that and you're going to put three more blocks on that line and then you're going to add an additional 10 here so it's technically nine wide so let's see four five six seven eight nine ten and then we can start putting it like this this should be nine wide and once we have it four you're going to add an additional four onto the end of it like this and then let's see this is all going to be covered up with just stone bricks actually except for the very middle which is going to be one piece of glass then you're going to break these blocks here place a one hopper facing inward then a bunch of hoppers on either side of it facing into it and then we're going to get our double chest and then we'll get our water and we'll be done with this farm did I say farm? I meant, I meant uh, machine. I'm used to used to farms. This is actually, it's a machine. It's not a farm. Double chest goes right there. And then we can take our water and place our nine water sources here. And now, that's the collection system done. Actually, we're not quite done. You need to place three stone bricks down there because that's actually what catches the TNT when it falls. And if it obviously doesn't get caught, it will just fall down there and explode. So now what you can do is you can flick this lever here. And this will start the actual duper. And so that gets caught, it'll go down before exploding. Now all we have to do is come over here and hold down a right click with our concrete powder and it'll just start getting converted and exploding as we can see here. That's all going to get blown up. If we watch it for a sec, that will actually continue to be exploded and it'll drop into there and go collect in the hoppers. And once it goes into the hoppers, you'll just go into this chest here. As you can see, it's actually filtering in right now. So now it is all completed and finished. So when you want to turn this off is after it's already dispensed some you want to turn it off then so that it doesn't actually activate again because if it did it would drop down and be bad so that's how you want to turn it off you don't have to do anything to turn this off here as you can see this will just always have stuff in it to block it and that's pretty much how you build the farm it's pretty simple but extremely effective and easy to use and it's super helpful for uh getting concrete also not that long ago i actually had to make 15,000 black concrete on a server that i play on and i ended up doing it by hand because i didn't feel like making a concrete maker but i would have benefited greatly from this if i had uh, had it at the time there will be a world download link in the description below if you want to go check it out and if you enjoyed this tutorial or found it useful or informative then consider hitting that like button and subscribing notifications on so as not to miss out on future videos and live streams once again we're trying to get to 3,000 subscribers by the end of november anyways that's all for today guys thanks for watching i've been speeve and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream bye